Fan man, what's going on? I know it's felt like forever since we've talked because the comments are still off on YouTube, which is really annoying. And I've been doing all I can to try to fix it, but I came up with a short solution to this. So I wanted to get this to you guys before the video started. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking about Marcus's story and have a lot of questions about me in the NFL and college ball and my whole football journey. And I've always wanted to figure out a way to get that straight to you guys. And I figured out a way to do that. And I started my second YouTube channel that I wanted to do for a long time called Said, where I'm gonna be doing all my motivational speaking, all of my football stuff, my coaching, Marcus's journey, everything. And I'm excited to finally start that. And I posted the first video yesterday and I was able to comment back to you guys. And it just felt so good, man. So I wanted to let you guys know that I started that channel. Go leave a comment, go subscribe, stop, stop for five seconds, go to the description and subscribe to it really quick and leave a comment because I really truly do miss talking to you guys and it sucks that this is still going on but it is what it is go subscribe go leave a comment I'm excited to talk to you guys over there until this one gets fixed so see y'all over there enjoy the video much love I feel like as a dad I'm always trying to find new ways that I can bond with Maddie and to challenge myself with how I can get closer to her because I feel like I missed out on something. In the beginning from when Maddie was born until about 15 months old, Charlotte breastfed her. I got a first hand look at their bond through breastfeeding, which is beautiful, unique, and special. But the dad doesn't get that kind of bonding. The closest thing that I got was skin to skin when Maddie was first born. And I'm always looking for these special ways to bond with Maddie with any opportunity that I can get. And I think I found one that a lot of people probably don't want to take. So this is going to be me and Maddie's first time traveling across the country by ourselves. I always heard like how difficult it is, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Maddie, come here. You come here. <laughs> it's already going great. Go see Daddy. Come to Daddy. Come to me. All right. Come here. Go to Daddy. Can you come say cheese? Wow. Are we going to have a good time? Yes. Yes? Cheese. Are you going to be a good girl? Yes. See, I told you, everything's gonna be fine. So now I gotta pack up all her stuff, pack up all my stuff, and then we're gonna see how this trip goes. I'll even tell y'all, we're going to California. That's where I'm from. And we're going to go see, hold on, homegirl. We're going to go see my mom and them for a few days before the other baby comes because we're not gonna be able to travel that much once the second baby comes, so. Let's do this. Maddie, can I have five? Come here, give me five. Don't worry about it, I got this under control. Now, I don't know how it is for most parents who fly by themselves with their kids, but for me, this being my first time, I truly was excited. I couldn't wait to see how me and Maddie's relationship would grow um, in this time of bonding. <laughs> but typically how this whole thing goes is I pack my own stuff and Charlotte packs by herself and the baby, because clearly I'm not good at it. Okay, so I already actually packed Maddie's stuff up for you. So you've got the appropriate number of diapers, her sleep shirts and socks in here. And then in here are all of her outfits labeled, you labeled <laughs> by day. Okay, I'm not that bad. I, I can seriously do this. No, but I looked at the weather to see like which days are the hottest. And then the very bottom has extra outfits just in case you have any accidents. Do you not trust me or something? I trust you, but you gotta look at the weather and I knew you weren't gonna look at the weather. Monday's the hottest day, so I have the warmest weather outfit for Monday. I don't think that's really necessary. Why? Hey. I just want you to be prepared. Daddy. Should Daddy pack this? Yes? Should Daddy pack it? Are you sure you want to go? You guys could just stay here. So you see what I'm saying? I'm not about to go in my way and put stamps on some clothes to break them out by the day, but Charlotte does and she's fantastic at it. It was honestly cool like talking to Maddie, preparing her for this trip, because we couldn't really tell if she wanted to go or not. And seeing Charlotte and Maddie be happy and kissing on each other just makes me realize it's gonna be tough. But then Maddie showed signs of that she was ready to go. <laughs> but although I didn't know if Maddie didn't wanna go, I know it was one person who really, really didn't want us to go. Daddy, you gonna airplane with daddy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Anxious, <laughs> sad, all the things. This is the longest I'm gonna go I've ever gone without her. You know that, right? Yeah, I do. I feel like you're underestimating 
the work that you're gonna have to put in. I'm not underestimating. I just think it's not gonna be as hard as you make it seem. Like just traveling with a toddler by yourself, it's different than when you have two people going with her. We gonna see. And then you're gonna have to deal with her like missing me and crying for mama. I'm not nervous at all. I'm being and I'm being completely honest. I'm like not nervous at all. I feel like it's gonna be like super easy. And plus, I got one more trick to make sure that I'm gonna be good. Hi, come here, daddy. Come here. Come here. You come here. Hey, I'm not gonna let that bother me because I think everything's going magnifico. So the little trick I was talking about was Maddie's bath time. This is literally like me and Maddie's favorite thing to do. Maddie, hey, can we get in the bath? This is the one time that me and Maddie seriously get to bond and just connect with each other, um, where we kind of have one-on-one -on -one time because I'm the one that gives her a bath most of the time. What color is this? Pink. Blue. <laughs> good job. Can you say orange? Yeah. Orange. Good, good job. job. And it's small moments like this that made me super excited to go on this trip uh, flying with Maddie by myself. Um, I want to use this as an opportunity that I can get closer with Maddie to where she has no really option but depend on me. Um, I'm her food source. I am her protector. I'm her provider. I'm everything. And having this challenge is truly exciting for me. And I'm really, really excited. I know there probably will be some bumps and bruises. It will be some difficult times, but I'm going to learn doing this. And I'm just excited to learn and grow with Maddie. Can you say bye to mama? Bye. Say bye. Mommy kiss you. They love you. Daddy kiss you. Yeah. You hug. Everybody, Everybody kiss you. Give mama a hug. Mama hug. Maddie, can I hug? Hug. Mama hug. Let me hug. Yeah. I love you. Okay. Travel safely. Love you. Ready to go see Granny? Say yes. Say yes. Are you tired? Yeah. Uh huh? All right, here we go. So as soon as me and Maddie get in the airport, I learned something instantly. I'm definitely more of a quote unquote risky parent where I kind of like letting my child do what she wants and I teach her as she goes. And Charlotte is someone who likes to constantly say, you know, stop, be careful. So I let Maddie run around the airport and she hit her head. And uh, I had to try to cheer her up with some of her favorite food. You want pizza? Yes. You want pizza? Say yes. yes. <laughs> and although we had this little slip up or scare or whatever you want to label it as, um, it was kind of good for me to learn that quick because I realized, okay, I got to be on my toes. I can't be so risky and obviously my football background isn't really good for that but i had to learn and i learned quick and i'm happy that i did and now that i did learn i'm hoping for a smooth and easy trip I love you mommy, mommy. Mm. You kiss? cedric and maddie should be getting to la very soon it's only been a couple of hours without my babies and i'm already ready for them to come home um, but I hope that Cedric takes good care of it. I feel excited to see how Ced does, but I also am not looking forward to a few days by myself. I mean, I'm looking forward to the sleep, but I'm not looking forward to being away from Maddie specifically and Cedric too, but this is the longest I've ever gone without Maddie.